The 80s were a great time of marketing campaigns disguised as cartoons, the likes of which include My Little Pony, Transformers, and G.I. Joe. However, the one above those in leaps and bounds was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. At least that's what it was called here in the States. In the 1980s, however, in the UK, it was known as Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. If you like that fun fact, stick around and grab a pizza. I'm Regular Guy Zach, and this is What the Fact. To understand the kingdom's distaste for ninjas, we have to go back a decade to the 70s. Bruce Lee's first and only Hollywood production, Enter the Dragon, is released in theaters. In the same year, 1973, the BBFC, or the British Board of Film Classification, took a look at Lee's movie and deemed it too violent. They went through the film, cutting and editing it to tone down the violence. The most substantial violence to this story left intact was Bruce Lee's nunchuck fights. Now I'm sure you're wondering why this mattered so much. Well, popularity for martial arts films grew in Britain. You know what else became popular in Britain? The gangs now running around with martial arts weapons starting brawls. This caused the public to question whether or not these martial arts films were to blame. Go forward a bit, say 1975, and the BBFC decides to ban the depiction of nunchucks in their media. This ban also extended to Shuriken, aka Ninja Stars. The reason for this was to discourage the use of such weapons by gangs. With that out of the way, the explanation for the name change of the genetically modified reptiles makes more sense. It was a way to distance the show from the gang violence and not provoke the martial arts weapons in the ninja motive. This led to the bizarre need for Michelangelo's nunchucks and all scenes with him using them to be censored. The fantastic and well thought out plan left Mikey high and dry. The irony of it was that he was the only one censored. I mean, we still had the other turtles dishing out turtle powers with swords, size, and bow staffs, not to mention the walking knife display that was the shredder left untouched. The censorship trouble got so bad that in later seasons, Mikey's arsenal was replaced with a freaking grappling hook. That's basically a claw on a rope, and that's if you don't just get hit with it. This tirade of censoring also bled into the live action movies coming out around the time, with Michelangelo's radical sausage chucks and Secret of the Ooze being removed due to the similarity to actual nunchucks. Then in 1991, a small glimmer of hope shines through. The BBFC starts making exceptions to the rule in cases of comedic reference or quick usage. Even with this though, nunchucks were hardly seen. The reference point for this is the mess of a live action show, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. It had Mikey using Tonfa instead of his standard weapons of choice. However, as the martial art craze started to die down, and gangs were using more conventional weapons like knives and pipes, the BBFC lifted their ban on martial arts weapons in 1999. Nowadays, the Turtles are free to bring ninja justice to the streets of New York and Britain without weird censoring or restrictions. I'm Regular Guy Zach. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you would like to. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And this has been What the Fact.